welcome back to this episode of Video Drone by DIY 3D Tech. We got the ships in a good position. We're still in the same spot, so we know it's good with hover. So I want to get it up in the air before I lose the ships. And so we're going to get it up. We're going to let it settle in a second or so. This is the third battery this morning. And uh, I know that's what it's saying. I'm going to start the video. So we appear to be, we've got the ship centered in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out. And uh, I'm going to take it out and up. And we'll take it up a little bit. And I want to try to get... Some video of the ship. And just kind of taking it out there a little bit. So I'm up about 150 feet. So let's uh, let's let's let it sit up out there a little way. So she's way out there this time. I'm about what is it uh, 82 meters out. And we're just simply going to let this guy kind of cross the video frame. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get maybe two slower B-rolls out of this. Because what I'm going to try doing is letting this guy roll out of frame. Because you can kind of see he's, uh, he's rolling down like he's going at a pretty good clip. Because what I'm hoping is during this battery, uh, this other guy up here will roll into frame as this guy rolls out I hope I think uh, I think I got enough uh, frame there and so I don't think I'll get enough battery life out of it where this guy rolls out of frame but we'll see how it goes as we get out there and again we have even a third downbound uh, so also what I'm hoping in this this b-roll what we get is remember in the last episode we were watching the sun waiting for the sun to come out well now it's behind this big cloud and you can see it's starting to crest uh, I hope you can see it uh, out of this uh, top of this cloud so if we get the timing right probably not with this guy out here but with this guy we might get sun, the, the sun kind of light him up because again you can see yep yep it's working now actually out pretty good this guy is leaving the frame over here this guy is entering our frame. I don't want to change the yaw because it'll sh it might show a jerk in the uh, in the uh, you know background. Because what I want to do is I want to have the background pretty much set of the the lake and the water motion and the clouds. So again, remember in the last video I talked about this. I want to have different. I want to have my canvas basically set static. Uh, but I want to have counteracting movements. I want to have the, I want to accentuate the water movement. I want to accentuate the ship movement, and I want to accentuate the cloud movement, all separate of one another, uh, to build sort of those elements. So, uh, so no, this is working really good. This guy's coming in. This guy's left the field. I'm just kind of looking around, making sure everything is still clear here. Everything is looking good, and so. Again, big bonus would be if the, this, the sun... All right. You guys are heading south already? I don't blame you. It's cold out here. So, uh, anyways, we got, we got this guy coming down. But what would really be... Because the, the, the frame is a little bit dark uh, for my liking. But what would really be nice... Now, I still have... I'm probably a little bit than less than halfway into this flight. And so uh, <clears throat> I still have some hopes that this, the sun's going to come out bright in the frame because really bonus, bonus footage would be this guy coming in. He's at the top of the frame up here, as you can see. Now, as he gets to the mid-frame, which he still has a ways to go yet, it would, again, it would be great. And you can see the sun up here, I hope, just starting to crest a little bit. So what I'm really hoping, and you kind of see the, the, the stream of sunshine on the lake here, I hope, in the, in the hat cam. And what I'm hoping is I have enough battery that everything times right that I, I kind of sort of pick that up a little bit. You know, because you notice it's, it's roughly at the end of the frame. 
Uh, probably if I had to do this over again, I would have worked the timing a little bit differently. I would have let it go uh, a little bit more before that one came down and kind of centered it on the and let the ships pass this part instead of kind of aiming it up for the ship. But I was afraid I was going to lose the opportunity, so I took what I had. Uh, but, you know, because the other thing, too, this is probably a good point. I'm still getting used to the frame, how, you know, wh what you're looking at, the field of view of the spark. And I, boy, man, it's, it's just cool. It just sits out there like a tripod, just up in the air, 150 feet up there, you know. Uh, what is it? Almost 300 feet, 400 feet out. So it's not too far out over the water, but it is it is out there. Ah, we have the sun cresting. Perfect. So this will light up the frame. So check this out, folks. This is cinematic magic. So, um, you know, again, a little bit off of the one-thirds. I'm down here a little bit far, but again, look at this. So you can see it's starting to light up the frame uh, in the video, which is just what I want. And uh, the, the ship is going to sail right in to the sun. So uh, in, in, into, you know, perpendicular to the sun. So we're going to get a lot of really good footage out of that. Um, so, and, and I still have pretty good battery life too. So this, this is what's encouraging. So, um, but, you know, again, here, as I rambled in a, in a prior episode, in a couple prior episodes, two more minutes of battery life would be great because one of the things now I've got to take into account, I've got to get the copter back. I mean, I'm over the water. I mean, you know, so I have to be, the further out I go, the more diligent I have to be about my battery life. And so two minutes more, DJI, two minutes more. That's all I'm asking. I know you can do it. Um, there seems to be a lot of room left in that battery compartment. And uh, I'm kind of betting dollars to donuts, you'll see in the next release or something, extended life batteries. Because I'm really kind of wondering what this last uh, release was, firmware release on batteries, just happened to be. So again, we're just uh, watching this guy. He's coming down the frame. Uh, we've got the sun up. And he's just kind of, and this is kind of, uh, you know, iconic. He's just going to fade into the sunset a little bit. Again, I wish I was getting a little bit more. There's some uh, some secondary clouds kind of coming in, blocking the sun a little bit. But uh, all in all, not too bad as he sails into the sun. Sunset. So again, we got another one coming down. So I think we'll have a little bit different opportunity. I may set up a little bit different for this guy. i got to see what the time is. Um, because I've got to go pick up my grandson yet. Uh, but... And again, we're now just, he's now just crossing down Lake. Out, uh, he's just going to cross out of the frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let him cross out completely out of frame. I'm still okay on battery. I think that'll take me down to my safety margin. And then I'll recall the spark uh, back here. So we'll just kind of let him fade. Now, now see, we got more sun. This is actually pretty good. Again, I wish I would have faded, you know, had it a little bit down further this way. So I was catching him just this way. So, uh, but, oh, well, there's many, 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 many more mornings where I'll be able to get this. Because I tell you, that is just him crossing the sun like this would, would, would have been epic. But you get what you get, I guess. And again, this is one of the pieces I should mention. This, you know, it's always a learning um, because I really didn't think about this when I set up the first shot. My first shot was just to kind of get a slow roll down the lake of a couple ships, you know, one ship, two ship, and then that's great. Um, it really wasn't for this kind of setup because I didn't know I was going to get the sun, but I, I should have probably thought about it. In the future, I will. So it's one of those things I'm kind of going to make a mental note of. So now I am, I am uh, at about my safety margin, and I am going to start bringing this guy back. And I'm going to, I need to focus a Make sure. Now I'm into a low battery warning. There we go. And again, I need to make sure I give myself enough time. 
I try not to depend upon sport mode for a quick return. And so I'm uh, still pretty good before I hit return to home. Backing it up a little bit. I don't know if you can see it up there. And she's coming down. I just want to make sure I get it. Uh, sorry for the quick adjustment, but I need to before I falls off my head. All right, because I want to get this set up for, uh, because I am going to try to run on that next ship and set it up for the next episode. So it's uh, cutting the sun. All right, so we'll bring it down. I need to go up a little bit. And all right, so we saved the video out. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at that video. Let's see what this looks like, right? We got the beautiful ship, we got the sun. Let's look at it. Another great flight. I want to get set up for this guy, so look for this guy in the next episode. So smash that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button over there. Let's see, we did KFC, we did McDonald's. What's left? Burger King. Burger King. Cheers. See you guys in the next video. Hit me up in the comments.